Hi guys, hello and welcome to another PHP programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create session management in PHP. The example is not very fancy, it's just something very simple. I want to give it to you so that you can utilize it in much, much more complicated examples that you will be coding or in your projects. The whole idea of the session management is that you, the web server doesn't remember you from page to page. So if you are on page number one and you go to page number two to the web server, you are a brand new user. That's why we have the login process. If you go to your email or if you go to your learning management system or any kind of a website where you want the site to remember you till you decide to log out or your session times out, the only way to do it is through a session management. So what you do, what we are doing in this example is we are creating, we're setting up a very simple form with one text box to accept a username and another text box to accept a password. When somebody click on this, they will be directed to session1.php page. In the session1.php page, now remember in PHP, whenever you are dealing with session management, right at the top of the page, you have to call session underscore start method so that the web server knows that you will be dealing with the session ma management here. In the page, all I'm doing is the value that I'm receiving from the form through my text box username, if you remember in my login form, the name of my text box is username. So I am assigning exactly the same value to my session variable, which is also called the username. And right away, using JavaScript, I am redirecting the user to the landing page. A lot of the time, this is exactly what happens. You sign in or you log in, the page that creates your session, you don't stay on that page. Rather, the, that redirects you to your landing page. Your landing page it could be your main page of your membership site, or could be the main page of your bank site, could be the main page of your email, wherever you are. So we are going to the landing page. In the landing page, I'm making a simple decision, and this kind of a decision is found in all pages that are hidden behind your session management. You need to have your code only if the session is valid. If the session is invalid, so I'm checking to see, again, you start the session, it is required. Every page you deal with session, you need to have a session start code at the top. So if the session is not set, then you simply tell the user that you need to sign in and click on the login page and come through the proper channel. If the session is set, this if condition will fail and you will tell the user, hello, so and so, welcome, and this is how you can log out. Um, again, you know, this is just a very simple page. Uh, typically speaking, your entire code logic, this is behind your session management, will be under this else condition, okay? So now all I'm doing in the logout page is if somebody hits a logout page, first of all, I'll, I start my session again, you know, to tell the web server that this is a session-driven page. I unset all, I remove all the session variables, and then I destroy the session. And then it is very important for you to leave that page where you are, where you have your logout. The reason is because your session variables are still staying in the memory, you're still sitting in the memory of that page. So the moment you go away, you drive away to another page, that's where all the sessions are cleared. And that's exactly what you would see in most of the websites, that as soon as you hit the logout button, it just goes to a page and then you're redirected to some other page. So the page that you go, and this happens so quick, you can't even see the difference, you know? Now, let me show you this, that if I try to directly go to the landing page, notice I, it doesn't let me come through. It forces me to go to the login page. So if I go to the login page, I enter my name, I enter a password and I hit login. Now it knows that, oh, hello, user Saad, welcome. And now I can log out. I click on log out and I'm back to the login page. If I try to force myself to go and run the landing page directly, notice it doesn't let me do that. And that's exactly what is the main idea of a session management. Let me know in the comment section below how you like our today's tutorial and also let me know if there are other topics that you want to learn about and i'll catch you in the next tutorial till then guys take care bye bye